All right. In our earlier video, um, I put the timing light on. First, I checked all the spark, made sure I got spark on all the cylinders. And then on the number one, I put a timing light, and I cranked it, and I could see that it was hitting at 7 to 9 degrees like it's supposed to. So now what I need to do is set the spark advance. And the way to do that is I hooked up my meter, right? I'm at top dead center, first of all. So I rotated the flywheel, so I'm at top dead center. I have to move that. And then I hooked up my positive lead, goes over to the switch box, and it's on the red wire. So what I determined, a couple things. One is the coil that I put in here is the red coil that is sort of the mystery coil. So what I've learned is, is it acts like a magneto in that at high speed, um, the magnet goes and it's the magnet that's inside the distributor is now making its magnetic field to the red coil. So I've got my negative lead from my from my meter to ground. And I've got my meter on continuity. And so now what you want to do is if it was full wide open throttle, and you can hear it beeping. So right, so I'm just a little bit, a little bit, you hear it beeping. So right now the screw is all the way out. So that's kind of, I don't know if this is the original one or not, but it's just a little bit off. There's not enough voltage going through the meter to keep it just a solid beep. Something that maybe I could build. It's like right there. So what I need to do is loosen this nut and then just take a screwdriver and adjust it. Up. Sorry. There we
So right about there. I want it to just touch. Right there. Now I'm just going to lock this nut down. Alright. So, when it gets to there, that's wide open throttle. It can go more throttle, but it can't go more spark stop. thing about this is that wide open throttle so let me back up this at wide open throttle should have the butterflies all the way open so you got to set two things the primary pickup and then the secondary pickup So the, right now the primary pickup, if they were in neutral, are just the barely open. But at wide open throttle, so that would be all the way wide open throttle, then both the butterflies need to be wide open. So right now, they're, they're not bad, but this primary pickup needs to come forward. I mean, it needs to go back just, just a little bit. It should just be touching. So, to set that, really what we need to do is put it in neutral and then. Put it in neutral once I get the things put up on it. Okay, and inside there you see the butterfly. So, this plastic piece that I'm pointing the light on has to just touch that bar. So, right now it looks fine, but we need to put the throttle cable on and then what it allows us to do is to check our primary pickup and then when I pull on that arm this thing's going to rotate around and it's going to open up mechanically from that plastic piece to wide open throttle. Right now when I pull wide open throttle my carburetors are, are uh, completely open. So that looks good. Um, so, so the takeaway from that is your primary pickup is the most important because it's allowing just a little bit of fuel to get through there. Um, and 
and um, you know they have to be just cracked. Um, I have to look in the manual and tell you. I usually just kind of eyeball it. If I see just a little bit of an opening, then I know I'm good. Um, if it if it's completely closed, you know, it seems like they don't they don't want to allow enough fuel to pass. So you need them cracked just a little bit. When you use the warm up knob, it opens those quite a bit more and allows more fuel to get in. But once you go down to idle, then you need to set. Um, you need to set, there's a little plastic, and again, I can't show this very well. I need to get, let me show this. This is kind of the whole key to it. See that little plastic piece, and there's a little bolt right there, and you adjust that so that when it hits the back side of this little lever right here, um, you'll see it when I turn it see how it comes and then it stops right it stops it but then when you pull back on the arm it's going to push it even more so that's going to push more of the of the butterflies open so what you got to do is just adjust that little screw um, for your pickup, and so you got your primary pickup, secondary pickup. So the primary is supposed to just be touching, and then you have that one. And uh, this is your stop throttle. So once this gets to a certain point, I can pull it enough, then it's going to hit that screw. And it's going to stop, and you won't get any more throttle out of that. And then this is just your idle. So if your idle's too high or too low, then you can adjust this, this here, and stop it from idling way too high. All right. So hopefully I explain that. Um, I think you know. Uh, well, I guess a couple things. I'll put the front plate back on, hook everything up, even maybe my electric choke, and then um, install the um, install the cable shift and throttle cable, um, and then it's kind of ready for me to do the lower unit. So that's the next thing, because now this is all seems to be working properly. It's good that I saw and I figured out what let me talk about that uh let me just talk about that red high coil that's inside the distributor. So what happens is it acts like a magneto. So as the magnet that's inside of the distributor rotates, it's making a uh, electromagnetic. It's magnetic. Um, it's allowing those two to make a connection. The lines of flux from each one of those make a connection, just like a magneto. Uh, if you know what a magneto is, it's like an electrical induced current causes the magnets to go like that, and then you got signal. So um, it's allowing that to pass the ground. So by taking my meter, what I what's happening, I suppose, and this is my theory, um, and I don't know if I'm explaining this very well, but um, as the as the as that hits that magnet and allows that ground pulse it sends it to the switch box and the switch box then sees um, sees that voltage across ground and 
Um, it's sending, this is the mystery, what it's doing, but um, I'm, I'm guessing that it's telling the coil to just fire. And so then the coil is just on, and it's sending voltage to the distributor. It's just like a car. Um, it's the main wire coming in, the distributor, and then you got four plug wires. So now it's at high speeds, just firing. And uh, instead of just firing according to the low speed. So, because the low is probably telling the coil to fire off and on. Um, it's not sending, you know, all the time. And that way your coil just doesn't burn up. That's my theory. So, um, now that I've determined that that is correct and that's working is a good thing because it's sort of like a mystery. Now, what happens in the switch box, you know, they're sealed. So, to go through the switch box, then the only way to really check it is to just, uh, well, you really can't. Unless you put up some sort of oscilloscope and you knew what the circuitry were. Um, you can do V, uh, well, you need a, some tar type of uh, meter. There's a conversion that you can measure. My meter is a standard car meter. You can make them. You see guys online, they're making them. And it'll just allow you to check the voltage on the switch box. So, you know, it's a pulse. And um, it's a little different than, than uh, what your meter will read. So, anyway, oscilloscope, you could do it. Or you can make one of those little boxes and use your regular meter.